1968, the visionary designers of the Royal BC Museum surrounded the buildings with concrete pits, steps and planters to create one of the first native plant gardens on the west coast of North America. Veronica Cooper pays it a visit. We have about 400 species in here. It's, it's hard to imagine when you look around. Ken Marr is talking about the Royal BC Museum's native plant gardens. This is a, a little jewel that very few people know about. The gardens display growth from across the province. Of course, it's very difficult um, because the climate here is suitable for coastal plants and not so suitable for a plant, say, from the dry interior or from the high mountain tops from the alpine areas. Among the hundreds of plants is one that looks like algae. Most people would never imagine that uh, this little plant is a fern. Many plants in the gardens produce medicinal compounds used for thousands of years to relieve various maladies, like the cascara tree. The bark um, was used by First Nations people as a laxative as well as treatment for other things. This willow produces a pain relief compound similar to acetosalicylic acid, better known as aspirin. And this is probably next to uh, tobacco and alcohol, the most commonly used drug on the planet. In 1962, the U.S. National Cancer Institute ground up the leaves, fruit, bark and roots of hundreds of plants, searching for any cancer-fighting compounds. BC's yew tree was once considered clear-cut waste and burned by loggers. It was discovered that all parts of this plant have biological activity that's effective in the treatment of cancer. But it required kilograms of bark for a single treatment. Now farmers grow orchards of ewes, a compound is extracted from the needles and modified in the lab to create Taxol, a cancer-fighting drug. What we're hoping to do in the future is to restore this garden somewhat um, by improving the signage. One of the things I've been asked to do is organize a group of volunteers and there, there are people in, in the city that are passionate about native plants, they're passionate about conservation and preservation and they want to share their excitement with other people. And share the fascinating stories that grow in the native plant gardens. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.